Hi guys, I'm Emily Shinevere, the CEO of the Austin Board of Realtors and Unlock MLS. I'm here with Lori Goto, who's running for our Board of Directors in the 2024 Board of Directors election. Lori, thank you for stepping up to serve. We appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with the easy thing. Why are you running? Give us your elevator pitch. So I'm running because I have had, uh, I was very honored to have a lot of people support me and get me to where I am today. So this is my turn to step up and contribute and give back. I love that. And recently, I've completed the Texas Realtors Leadership Program. Oh. And it has changed my perspective on leadership. And I feel like I can contribute now. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, we love a plug for TRLP. <laughs> I'm a TRLP grad too, so good job on that. Um, how will you work to reinforce the value of the MLS, of Unlock MLS, amongst our membership as a board member? Well, I'm happy about the Unlock MLS app. Thank you for that. Oh, good. Yeah. I didn't even know you guys were working on it, so <laughs> it was a nice surprise. Uh, I can tell you that I... It's not just an MLS where, you know, you guys provide the RPR and the tax and the flood and MC reports and market sets. There's a lot more. I'm sure a lot of people don't even know you can put a YouTube video on there with your MLS introduction to your clients, which is awesome. And I'd love to make it easier for our realtors and for our homeowners if we could implement somehow finding out if houses have PIDs, mm. MUDs, or PUDs, yeah. even an energy audit, because yes. I feel like that's another step we have to take. And then if we're not disclosing it in a transaction, what happens then? Yeah, right? that's a great mm -hmm. point. This is why mm -hmm. I love that our board members mm -hmm. are truly active agents or brokers in the market, because you're able to bring that like day-to-day -day information into mm -hmm. our boardroom, which is so helpful. Mm -hmm. Um, we're completing the last year of our strategic plan, which is hard to believe. What aspect of the plan do you think we should most carry forward into our next strategic plan? Oh, I appreciate all the plan. <laughs> Thank you for doing sure. that. I appreciate ABOR and the board of directors for working on that plan. Sure. But the most important ones that we should continue forever is, of course, elevating our industry. Elevating our industry will provide education, professionalism, and leadership which is a must. Yeah. And also part of that plan is um, uh, partnering with our affiliates. Mm, yeah. Since I'm a big part of a board diversity committee, I'm also a member of ARIA, NAREP, AREB, and LGBTQ Alliance. So awesome. that's a big part of it. Um, the other strategic plan is advocating for our community. Mm -hmm. We should always be doing that. Um, because having that partnership with our local and state governments is very important. I've seen it firsthand yeah. when we had, when the Bill 147 came up. Oh, yeah, in the last legislative session. So we partnered with ARIA, Texas Realtors, Tree Pack, and our local congressmen mm -hmm. to actually amend the bill, and it never went up to, um, for a vote which is amazing to me how your voice counts. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's a great example too of just paying attention mm -hmm. to at mm -hmm. all levels of government as well. That's mm -hmm. important work that we do. Mm -hmm. What do you feel you're gonna bring to the table that will move the association forward as a board of director? I feel like my, I've been in business for 17 years as uh. a full-time real estate agent, so I've seen the market up and down. Mm -hmm. I also have served on multiple committees one, currently, I'm on the Texas Realtors Diversity Committee. Oh, uh-huh. I'm on the ABOR Diversity Committee, Housing and Foundation. I also have been a member of the Asian Real Estate Association of America, the local chapter here in Austin, for seven years. And I'm also a past president in 2019. Very proud. Yeah, <laughs> that's hard work. <laughs> and I'm also currently on the ARIA National mm. Chapter Development Committee. I've also past chaired an ARIA National A-List Committee and also been on the Luxury Committee. So I've been on multiple committees and I feel like I have been also, ARIA has leadership training that happens every year for yeah. their board of directors, which also has helped my. Sure, I, mm -hmm. yeah, all of that leadership experience rolls up and it's helpful, mm -hmm. definitely. What do you feel is the biggest change that's impacting our industry right now? Oh, AI, everybody seems to be all right. really all into AI. And, yeah. I, and it's been around for a while, so it's not something new. But I feel like everybody's using it in real estate now. 
So, but I do want to protect our home ownership mm. um, information, homeowners information, our yeah. realtors information. Mm -hmm. How are we protecting that data? Because it's so easy to access and yeah. people are being scammed. Now we're having um, real estate fraud where people mm. are selling real estate. That's not their own. Yes. 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 I mean, I know I don't want it to happen to me. Mm -hmm. So I, I truly don't want it to happen to other people. And how are we protecting our homeowners? Yeah, that's a great point. Mm -hmm. Lori, thank you again for being willing to step up and offer to serve in this capacity. We hope all of you will remember to vote for your chosen candidates for these five seats available. We look forward to seeing who wins. And thank you. Thank you.